Good afternoon, Gillian Redman here with Your Home Soul Guarantee Realty. Um, I'm happy today to be joined by Eric Mitchell, the Executive Vice President of Gold Star Mortgages, and our local awesome lender, Mary Ballard, who we are very privileged to work with locally. Good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon, Gillian. How are you? Good, thank you. So, Eric, um, we've got a few things that we want to talk to you about today, but obviously one of the major things that we're talking about right now is people that are sitting on the fence, as we would say, waiting for these prices of homes to drop. Um, what do you guys feel is happening? And obviously I'll share with you what I feel is happening. Yeah, so certainly, um there's a there's a growing sentiment from a lot of buyers that um, based on uh, jobless claims based on uh, where the economy seems to be shrinking a little bit that there's going to be um, some sort of reduction in home prices and so what we're trying to share with with buyers in the marketplace is understanding that home prices are, are certainly very hyper local right so what's going to happen in miami may or may not happen in Orlando, which may or may not happen in Tampa. I mean, those are very different markets. Um, and so, but in real estate, the home prices in whatever market you're in are based on supply and demand. And so if there's a high, high uh, demand, right? But there's a low supply, then prices go up. If there's low demand and a high supply, then prices come down. And so then you just have to look at, at the mathematics of your local market. And, and certainly when you look at the, the map of the Orlando market, uh, West Palm Beach, all the way down the East Coast of, of Florida, um, I don't see a single multiple listing service that, that has inventory. There's just, no, there's just no inventory at all, right? So home sellers are not listing their homes for sale right now, certainly not at, at the levels of, of last year or the, or the year before. And so all the math that we're looking at is there, I mean, the, and you'll see you, the two of you are, are based there in Florida. I mean, you'll know a lot more effectively than, than me, you know, it, but it looks like there's multiple offers happening on every, every home that's coming in on a market that's of, of that's priced properly, right? If the listing agents pricing the home properly, you're in a multiple offer situation more often than not. But what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, we're finding that we're actually finding at the moment that the last couple of months that there are more houses selling every week than are being listed every month. We are running in Central Florida at this time in under three months of inventory of homes. So that rather than be the market that people are looking for is going to create a we have a seller's market right now, but it's going to create an even deeper seller's market. So buyers really, really need to start talking to you guys and getting qualified because otherwise they are going to pay more for homes than they expect to do and not get this, um, this low rate, the low value homes that they're hoping for. Um, what, what are you finding, Mary? I'm finding that the buyers, I'm hearing a lot of um, conversations from buyers that they're waiting for this perfect sales price and prices to drop. And, you know, my response is that you're going to wait yourself right out of a house. You know, you're not going to have a home for your family because you're waiting for all these things to get better. If you're going to wait for something to drop $10,000, well, in the meantime, that interest rate could go up an eighth or a quarter while you're right waiting. And sellers are um, having multiple offers on their property. So we're having to be a lot more aggressive with the buyers. You know, we have this unique program where we submit them to underwriting without a property. And that kind of helps strengthen. It definitely helps strengthen their offer. Um, because what it does is it takes that financing contingency out of the scenario. And that has a seller much more apt to take that offer instead of one that has a, a financing loan contingency to it. So we're getting that buyer completely pre-approved and under approved and underwriting, not pre-qualified, not pre-approved, approved and underwriting. And then they can make this, um, what we, what you see on the screen, this no financing contingency offer for a certain amount of days, just based upon property conditions and approval. And so, so Mary, just a quick question for you. How, how long have you been in the mortgage business? Uh, 20 years. 20, 20, 20 years. years in South Florida. Yeah, that's crazy. 
And so would you say that everybody qualifies for this or are there, are there exceptions? Are there some people that may not qualify for this? I would say, you know, it, a lot of people do qualify for this program. You know, we, we do go a little bit more in depth, even in our pre-approval than most lenders, just without submitting them to underwriting. So for this type of product um, and approval, we will say that there are some buyers, buyers that this is going to make complete sense and make them feel comfortable submitting and not having a financing contingency. And there may be some um, job scenarios, job titles, and industries where maybe we're not as aggressive, but we will still pre-approve them, give them a pre-approval letter, and get them out there shopping. So we just may not put them in this no financing contingency scenario, but it doesn't mean we're not still going to work for you and do our best to get you into the home of your dreams. All the more reason they should reach out to you directly and have a consultation. Um, is there is there a fee for having a consultation, Mary? Absolutely not. That's not oh, okay. compliant. No there's fee. No, there's no contract to sign. There's no, no contracts. My knowledge, my wisdom, my approval is free to you. Okay, just just uh, uh, check on that. And then, uh, Jillian, would would you agree that if if a buyer is making an offer on a home in a multiple offer situation, that if they can make an offer this way, that their their offer is going to stand out, be more competitive, and save them money? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you look at it from a seller's point of view, if they've got offer A and they've got offer B, and offer B, offer A is subject to the pre-approval process and or even no approval on, on a mortgage and they've got offer B um, and, and it's clear, it, it's basically like a cash deal because um, you've gone through this process with them already and we can close fast as well. The combination of all that together makes it so much a stronger offer. And obviously our job as the real estate agent is to present this this offer that you're allowing us to do here for our buyers, our clients here, and explain to the seller how strong this offer is. It's basically, as we say, as good as a cash offer. And so, and so would you also agree though, to protect your buyers, are you putting in uh, like a home inspection? Like, is there a home inspection contingency just in case? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So the buyers are protected, meaning if, if something happens in the transaction, they want to get out of the transaction, you're putting in contingency, you know, like a home inspection contingency to make sure that they're protected and, and everybody's okay. Absolutely, Eric. Yeah, without a doubt, we're protecting them all the way. Um, and, you know, as part of our, our system within your home so guaranteed, we also get the, our clients uh, a home warranty for the first 13 months that they own the home. Oh, as great. Well. Yeah, so you know they've got that added protection even after they've closed for, for, for the next 13 months that they've got that to help them to, to settle into their new home. And, and so Jillian, do you, do you charge a fee to have a, a buyer consultation? No, we don't, Eric. We, we are free to buyers. We, uh, we only get paid if we sell a house um, and the, the, the seller then pays us a commission for bringing a buyer to them. So all our services are free, again, to our- So, you tell, so you're telling me a buyer pays you nothing? Nothing. nothing. Zero. Nothing. Even when they buy the house, the buyer still pays you nothing? Nothing. You know, we can work with, we work with some buyers for months and months and months till they find that perfect home. A lot of them, we find them very quickly because of our, our unique home hunter service that we give for them. Um, but you know, until that that check changes hands and they own their home, we don't get paid a penny. Oh my goodness gracious! So you're so Jillian, you're free. Mary, you're free for consultations. Um, so anybody watching this video, make sure you reach out to the team. I'm going to put everybody's contact information back up here on the screen. So there's how you reach Mary Ballard and her team, um, and this is how you reach the Redmond team. Um, you know, I am honored to be able to. to you know, call your friend Jillian. You guys are just crushing it up there in, in the central Florida market. Mary, you are brilliant as always. Uh, I, I call you Queen Mary because you are always <laughs> graceful and, and, and elegant to everybody that you come into contact with. Um, ladies, thank you so much for your time. And to those of you watching this video, make sure you reach out to these ladies. They are the best of the best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you, Ari. Bye-bye. Bye, Mary.